This episode of Let's Knit Together is sponsored by YarnMarket.com. Hi there, I'm Kat. Let's knit together. Today, Entrelac. Modular knitting is a technique of making fabric of knitted shapes. One of the coolest modular knitting techniques is entrelac. Entrelac takes your knitting in multiple directions, literally. You work entrelac by first knitting a tier of triangles using short rows. You then pick up from the sides of these triangles and knit a tier of squares. From there, you switch angles and pick up from the other side and build up another tier of squares. You continue this until you finally finish off with a final tier of triangles miraculously creating a square piece of fabric. This method is especially wonderful if you're using a variegated or hand-painted yarn. It's also great for felted items like this bag. To demonstrate this technique, we'll be making this garter lac dishcloth designed by Dave from Crimini Jickets. There are links in the show notes for this pattern. This is a great starter project to get your feet wet doing entrelac. I'll be using a different color for each tier so that you can see the tiers better. This pattern uses garter stitch, but most entrelac patterns will use stockinette stitch. One other thing to note, when the pattern refers to pick up, it's pick up and knit. Starting with tier one, you cast on 24 stitches and create three short row triangles. Follow the pattern directions so your first triangle looks like this with eight stitches at the widest part of the triangle. Now create two more of these triangles which should use up all your cast on stitches. Then turn. Since this is in garter stitch, I recommend putting a safety pin or removable stitch marker on the side you're working on. It can get very confusing on which side is the right side when you're doing short rows with garter stitch. This second tier starts out with an increasing triangle. So knit one, turn. Knit front and back, then turn. Knit one, slip one, and knit one from the last triangle from the previous row. Pass the slip stitch over, then turn. Knit front and back, knit one, turn, knit two, slip one, knit one, pass a slip stitch over, Turn, knit one, knit front and back, knit one, and turn. Continue this until you have increased to eight stitches for the triangle and have decreased all stitches from the tier below. Now you pick up and knit eight stitches along the side of this triangle. The best way to pick up stitches from the side of a garter stitch row is to pick up the first stitch of the ridge. Remember to knit through the back loop of these picked up stitches so your knit stitches will not be twisted. This is the start of your square. Once you have your stitches picked up and knit, turn and knit one row. Turn back and knit seven stitches. Slip one, knit one, and pass the slip stitch over. Repeat this until all the stitches of the second triangle are picked up. You will always do the slip one, knit one, pass the slip stitch over on the side you are working. 
Be careful not to pick up the stitches of the edge triangle you just created. Once this square is complete, you'll do one more. Once these two squares are complete, pick up and knit the eight stitches from the edge of the next triangle, turn and knit eight. Turn, knit to the last two stitches and knit two together. Turn and knit. Repeat this until one stitch remains. You will always be decreasing on the edge of the cloth. The third tier is simply three squares. So pick up the seven stitches from the edge of the triangle you just knit to get a total of eight stitches and begin the first square. Finish out the tier with two more squares. For the next tier, repeat tier two. After that, repeat tier three. And then repeat tier two once more. At this point, you've probably got the hang of things and you'll finish off with the three final triangles. See how easy that was? Doing entrelac in the round like I did for this bag is even easier because you don't need to make the edge triangles. At this point, you can try your hand at any entrelac project because you've mastered the tough parts. Our next live show is scheduled for September 26th at 6 p.m. Eastern. Go to letsknittogether.com slash live for complete details on how to participate. There are still a few days left to vote thumbs up for our presentation submissions for the South by Southwest Conference. There's a button on the sidebar of our website that will take you to our two presentations. Hurry! The voting ends on September 4th. We're so excited to announce our new marquee sponsor, Yarnmarket.com, a premier online retail store for knitters, designers, and crafters. They carry over 700 yarns and an extensive array of accessories and patterns. I've been shopping on their site for years. One of the things I love is that you can search for a project and add all the supplies for that project with a single click, or customize it to meet your needs. To check them out, click on the Yarn Market button in the sidebar of our website, or simply go to yarnmarket.com. Remember, by supporting our sponsor, you support the show. I spilled water on my chair. <laughs> I spilled water on the chair? Right there? Drippies. Drippies. <laughs> Remember to knit through the back loop of these picked up stitches so you're... <laughs> Try it again. I, missed, okay, I you know, missed a line. I know you missed it, but you gotta not give up at the end. <laughs> there, oh, I've screwed it up. <laughs> Just keep going. Okay. You, were, you were good when you messed up the thing, but then when you got to the end, you're like, oh, I know I screwed up. <laughs> attitude, you know what I'm saying?